I am Honorable Adeje Distel Elajde. I represent the people of the Northwest Southwest Federal Constituency of your state. I rise to move a motion on the need to investigate the untold hardship faced by the Nigerian Pebridge at the recently concluded 2023 Arch. Mr. Speaker, note that the recently concluded art exercise in the Holy Land of Saudi Arabia by over 95,000 Nigerian free pilgrims. Also note, Chapter 2 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 has amended, particularly Section 14, 2B, provide that the security and welfare of the people shall be the primary purpose of government. Informed that the total of about 95,000 slots were allotted to Nigeria, which was coordinated by the Na National Arts Commission of Nigeria, NACOM, and pursuant to Section 4, it is charged with the mandate of providing effective and efficient arts and Bumra services to Nigerian people. Also informed that the year this year's Hajj recorded one of the largest turnouts in the history of Hajj and Al Jazeera and other international media putting figures at about 2.5 million pilgrims. Mr. Speaker, aware that the Nigerian pilgrims were subject to untold hardship during the Hajj exercise from the inability of the airline, such as Arik, to leave pilgrims due to the lack of aircraft, lack of adequate tent accommodation at Mina and Arafat, substandard tents with the unhealthy living conditions and environment, lack of proper medical attention to pilgrims in case of emergency, lack of proper transportation logistics for Nigerian pilgrims. Nigeria has been made to miss their flight due to stringent bottlenecks regarding withholding of their international passport, inability to secure airport slots for Nigerian airline operators for lifting of Nigerian pilgrims from Southern Saudi Arabia back to Nigeria and many others. Also, Mr. Speaker, aware that over 25,000 Nigerian pilgrims, including those who paid for 10A VIP uh, class, were stranded in Mina due to the inadequate tents and oversubscription. I underline that oversubscription leaving Nigerian pilgrims sleeping on the roads, under bridges, nearby mosques. There are cases of several public officials, such as president and former governor, senators, House of Red members, and deputies, who had no tent and were made to sleep on unhealthy places and conditions. Further note that the VIP pilgrims were made to pay 5,000 US dollars, 8,000 riyals, for 18,000 riyals for VIP tents. And despite this exorbitant amount, Mr. Speaker, pilgrims were stranded while other got tents of lesser value that they paid for. Mr. Speaker, again, note that some tour operators perpetrated the worst form of unprofessionalism by failing to provide services promised to pilgrims in terms of accommodation, tent, feeding, and transportation. Mr. Speaker, the stop idea was the absence of emergency medical services for sick patients in distress at Mina Camp, as many distress patients when could not even access uh, ambulance services to the camp. Mr. Speaker, furthermore, also the stop by the most uh, Nigerian migrants were made to miss their flights and had to procure new tickets without justification or justifiable cost due to the, dis the disturbing bottleneck placed by the high services centers, especially service center number 16, who were tell passport of pilgrims until a lengthy uh, list of bottlenecks were fulfilled. 
Mr. Speaker, worried that many Nigerian pilgrims did not get uh, commensurate value for the high amount of money they paid for and justly uh, clamoring for a full refund for tents and uh, feeding. Also, Mr. Speaker, I'm worried that the agency mandated to cater for the pilgrims of Fair Nakam has not been proactive in uh, ameliorating the plight of Nigerians during the 2023 act. Mr. Speaker, here are the prayers. Please, we are, we are asking that uh, the mandated committee of the Pilgrims Affairs, when constituted, to conduct a detailed investigation into the several anomalies that uh, emanated from the 2023 Act and report back to the House within four weeks for further legislative action. Also, mandate the Committee on Legislative Compliance when constituted to ensure implementation. I so move, Mr. Speaker, respected colleagues.